In this session, some input motion at the revolute joint of the pedal for the general movement, a torque at the flywheel and some spring forces between the disc and the friction pads of the clutch will be introduced. For the motion, we check the properties, check include motion, activate the motion button to come to the expression list. There we will do a new expression with the help of a step function. Because the forward motion of 75 degrees should be faster than the backward. We use step depending from time. We start at 0 seconds with a value of 0 and at 0 0.2 seconds we reach a value of 75 degrees. That's the first part of the motion. Then we subtract a second step function for the backward motion as well depending from time. But here we start at 0 0.2 seconds with a value of 0 and at 0 0.8 seconds we have a value again of 75 degrees. After applying all the dialogues the motion sign is changed or added to this revolute joint which indicates this input motion. Next a torque at the flywheel is added. We zoom in in that area and from the above library the single torque must be chosen and the right option checked. With the joint option only the right joint has to be selected and the corresponding parts are automatically referenced. The properties we reach with the right click because we have to add as well here an expression as well we use a step function to delay the torque until the clutch is open. Therefore we start with a step again time depending at 0 0.2 seconds the value is still 0 and at 0 0.35 seconds the value is 1 and this step is multiplied with a given amplitude for the torque of 150,000 Newton millimeter. Then we apply all the dialogues that this torque will be active in the end working at this joint. Then the springs should be modeled between the disc and the friction packs. Therefore we change from shade with wire to each render because in this mode we could easily hide some parts. Here the pressure blade and the flywheel are already hidden and the input shaft should be hidden as well. And we zoom in in the area where to set the springs choose from the above library the spring and the right option. The procedure to generate a spring is similar to that of generating joints. We need a first body, the disc, a second body, the pad, a first position where the spring starts, this marker of the joint, and a second position where the spring ends, 
the marker at the end of the pad. For the second spring, this has to be repeated. The disc, the pad, first position and second position. Here we see as well the geometric icon of the springs and in the database we see the connected parts. We have to change the properties of the spring. The stiffness should be increased to 2000 Newton per millimeter and we want to preload the spring in a geometric way. The distance here results from the click positions and if we increase the free lengths to 5.9 millimeter, we preload the spring for 2 millimeters in a geometric way. As well, the size of this graphic should be decreased a bit, make it to 10. And repeat this for the second spring, 2000 Newton per millimeter, free length 5.9 millimeter, and the spring diameter should be 10. Then everything is modeled for now, and we could switch back to shade with wire to see again all bodies. And we could simulate our model to see the effects of the motion and forces. We see the whole movement of the pedal and the links and the delayed rotation of the flywheel. Nothing more so far, as still some contacts and other elements are missing, which will be done in the next session.